All right, good evening. I am recording this video in regards to a recent controversial argument going on in the state of Utah. We have a, a senator by the name of Mark Madsen, M-A-D as in David E, uh, sorry, let me start over. M-A-R-K Madsen, M as in Mary, A, D as in David, S, E, N as in Nancy. He wants to go ahead and change the national recognized Martin Luther King Day to be, for the state of Utah, recognized for a gun maker. Now for those who don't have a problem with that, let me give you a little update. Martin Luther King was assassinated by a gun and this senator, Republican out of Utah, would like to go ahead and instead of calling Martin Luther King Day, he would like to give credit to a gunmaker by the name of John Browning. Now if you think this is ridiculous or I'm just making this up, go ahead and take a look here. I'm going to go ahead and change the screen to my computer. That is the individual you're looking for and that's what he's trying to do. Utah State Senator Mark Madsen, Republican at Eagle Mountain, Utah, wants to honor gunmaker John Browning with the state-recognized holiday, and he wants to do it on Martin Luther King Day. That's his face once again. What I'm urging you to do is to actually take, take control of the situation and actually write to this individual and let him know exactly what you think. Because as you can tell, he clearly does not have any moral stance uh, as far as what he believes in what should be right instead of recognizing a very honorable hero for several different cultures not just necessarily those of uh, African uh, African descent or African American as far as the discrimination that took place he would like to simply change that and actually honor a gun maker which has essentially not contributed much to to the country other than creating weapons which of course are made to kill people so for those who have a very strong opinion, I highly recommend that you contact Senator Mark Madsen and let him know exactly what you think. I don't care if you necessarily live in Utah or not, simply get your message across and uh, explain to him that his, his views are simply degrading, immoral, and simply he should not belong in or anywhere around the government stands. He is a person who's representing us and based on his political views as well as not necessarily being a Republican but based on what he stated here in this simple occasion that I've gone ahead and presented to you, he shall no longer be allowed to, to serve and whatever you guys can do, feel free to go ahead and uh, don't cause any harm of course or make any threats, but let your message be heard that he and his opinion are not wanted and he should essentially resign from his position or contribute to those politicians who strongly disagree with them and make sure that they're elected so we won't have any type of biased individuals such as this representing our state. Whether you're in Utah once again or not, go ahead and still let your voice be heard. Thank you.